feel like it makes me more lovable. It makes me more worthy, more valuable. And I didn't like that. What's up, it's your girl Danny DMC, and today you are seeing me in a new setup. If you are new to my channel, welcome, what's up? It's your girl Danny. I am a model, YouTuber, confidence activist, coach, and today a makeup guru for the first time ever on YouTube. Um, yes, this is a new one for me, a highly, highly requested video, might I say, but there's many reasons I don't do makeup tutorials. And the easy ones are like, okay, I don't think they're gonna do that well because I mostly do fashion videos. But there's also some like deep depth, like the real tea and truth on why I don't do makeup tutorials. And we're gonna get into it today. I'm finally gonna break it all down and really tell you why, even though you request them all the time, I don't do them. But I'm doing one today. This is a Danny DMC exclusive. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big juicy red button screaming subscribe to you below. But if you are not ready to do so, that's okay. I want you to be confident like all things in life. So watch this whole video and I guarantee by the end of it, you will be running to click that subscribe button. So we're gonna have some fun. This video is not sponsored. I'm gonna show you all the makeup that I love. And if you follow me on Instagram, which you should if you are not, but if you do, then you know I can beat a face. I love makeup, I'm very good at makeup, but it's definitely not something that I talk about a lot or that I show you guys or that I display on my channel, on my TikTok, on my Instagram. So today we're gonna get the real tea on why that is. So wait no more, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. I definitely will be showing you guys some of my favorite products throughout this video, um, which you definitely should be on the lookout for because I have perfected my makeup routine and I have been into makeup since I was like eight. So you can trust me, I promise you. So get your notepad, you know, get your tea and let's get started. Okay, first thing I always use is Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Also, you guys have to ignore my nails. I just took my press-ons off to let my nails breathe. So this is like a real all-natural state that we're beginning with, which I'm obsessed with because you guys know I'm all about embracing the natural. So we're doing that today in all aspects, including my nails. So don't ignore them. Actually, highlight them, look at them, zoom in on them. <laughs> Isn't that annoying how we feel like we always have to apologize for things when they're not like polished or put together? I'm definitely gonna stop doing that. We need to stop doing that collectively. You with me? Okay, so I'm using some of my vitamin enriched face base. I'm gonna put this all over my face. I love extra moisture before I do my makeup. I have dry skin for sure. And I just got a chemical peel about a week and a half ago now. And my forehead is still a little my forehead's still healing a little bit, but the rest of my face is pretty much done, but I definitely need as much moisture as possible. Okay, next are brows. The first trick I do is I, it's almost like a laminate your brow hack without getting your eyebrows laminated. So I use the Iconic London Brow Silk. This is almost like a soap bar. And then I spray it with the It Cosmetics You're Better Than Skin setting spray um, and just get it like a little wet. And then I just grab a spoolie and I kind of put it in here like so, and then I just start brushing my eyebrows straight up. Okay, and then once I let that dry a little, I like to use the NYX Fill and Fluff. This is in the shade Taupe. This is my go-to for brows. And then I just start filling my brows in like so. Okay, so I cleaned up my brows and now I'm gonna go into doing my skin. I am going in with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream with SPF 50, which we love, in the shade Fair Light. And then I'm using the best brush I've ever owned in my entire life. If you don't buy any brush, buy this brush. This is the It Cosmetics number seven. Um, this is the all over side and then the conceal side and I use them both so much. This is honestly the best brush I've ever owned. I hated brushes for my face until I started using this baby right here. She is amazing. So before I get into uh, my foundation, I forgot, this is a godsend. If you have dark circles like this, under you can't fully see them because I have a lot of good lighting right now, but I definitely have like purple and teal or like green accents under my eyes because my skin is so pale. And this is a godsend, the Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Light Bisque. I love this. And I just put it right under my eye and just I'm just gonna show you one eye just to show you how much it brightens it before I even conceal. Look at that, huge difference. Like, it's such a big difference. And a lot of days when I don't wear any makeup, I put this on by itself. Because like, hello, 
I love this. So I'm trying to keep it semi-natural today while still showing you my technique, which kind of involves me doing a little bit more on the glam side, but I'm not going crazy. But this foundation is everything. It's called the CC cream, but you guys, the coverage is so good. It's definitely buildable. The color is amazing match and it's just so good. And I love that it has SPF in it. So basically the real, real reason that I avoid doing makeup tutorials or why I didn't start YouTube doing makeup tutorials because so many people in college and high school told me to do makeup tutorials on YouTube because I am really good at makeup is because I used makeup because it was the only thing I had. Um, you know, growing up being plus size, like I was always trying to find my identity and who I was and like what that looked like, but I couldn't really express myself. I definitely couldn't express myself through fashion because there literally were no options for me. Like I was steady. I'm gonna like see if I can find some embarrassing photos and put them here. But I was like steady trying to find my style in men's clothing. Um, when we'd go back to school shopping, my mom would take me to New York a lot. I have a lot of family that lives in New York. And so we'd go to Harlem and we'd go to these like stores that carried like big and large or big and tall rather. And um, I'd like shop in the guys section or like when apple bottoms came out, they were like the first jeans that fit me, baby fat fit me. Um, so that's like mainly what I wore, but it was hard to really like understand what my style was because I didn't have all these different options. So basically I felt like I didn't want to do makeup on YouTube because it was like a way that I kind of escaped as a kid. And for me, it wasn't just like a hobby. I started getting into makeup when I was so young and it was because I felt like it was the only way I could make myself beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, this is how I can disguise myself. This is how I can, um, you know, do something to make people like me or think I'm more attractive because society has told me I'm not attractive. And while I really enjoyed playing with makeup, I feel like the way I used it, like when I played inside my house with makeup, it was like, oh, this is fun. I love it. This is a hobby. But like when going out, it was a mask. It was a way I could, you know, come across to people as meeting society's needs because my body didn't do that. And my whole life, you guys, the number one thing I heard, hold on, let me do my concealer. <laughs> also, clearly I'm not good at tutorials. I'm like two all over the place, but I'm gonna go into con with concealer. Juvia's Place is my absolute favorite concealer of all time. I use two different shades. They're a mess. This is like a real tutorial, okay? You guys, this is not like, we're gonna clean off all our products. I'm giving it to you real raw, like I always do. So this is the shade 22, this is the lighter shade, and this is 19, which is like pretty much my shade. And I like to use this light shade to go in the corner of my eye right here to really brighten it. And then I use this guy for like all over, but I like to go here and then go up to give like a lifting moment. And then I go down my nose and then I do a little boop boop here. So my whole life, everyone was always telling me, your face is so beautiful, your face is so beautiful, your face is so beautiful. And while it's a nice thing to hear, yeah, my face is beautiful, I get that. But what I heard was your body isn't beautiful. The rest of you isn't beautiful. And so I felt like I had to make my face perfect since I couldn't make my body perfect which was such a hard thing at a young age. You know what I mean? Like it just, it's something I definitely really struggled with. And when I started YouTube, I wanted to show women how to love their bodies. No matter what you look like, no matter if you fit into society standards or not, I felt like to me, fashion was more of a revolutionary act than makeup is. And I'm not saying that like makeup for some people doesn't do the same thing that fashion does for me because I don't wanna take your truth away at all. I just think for me personally, showing that a fat girl can wear a crop top and be confident and be a boss and show other women like, hey, get on this wave with me, like wear whatever you want. Let your individuality shine through and don't let society dictate what you wear and what you feel comfortable in. Like that to me was the empowering wave I wanted to be on. Okay, I pretty much blended my concealer and this is the stage where like, <laughs> you look like a ghost because things aren't fully, fully blended and we have to now add color back into the face. So know that. I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade. Medium Bisque, this is my favorite for contouring my nose. Okay, so today I'm trying something new. I've heard so many of my friends and people that I watch talk about these mini beauty blenders for nose contour, so I'm gonna try it today. Um, but basically, going back to what I was saying, I think the biggest thing for me is, like, I always felt like my face was 
the showstopper. My, and that's what the world told me. But I felt like with YouTube, I wanted it to be about my body. The whole world always made it about my face, always. And I wanted to make it about my body. My body is beautiful just the way it is. My body is powerful. My body can be the star of the show. You know what I mean? My body can be the thing that people are like, whoa, your body is popping. Oh yeah, you have a cool face. Your face is pretty too, but your body, you know, that's all I wanted because I felt like I was always told like my body's not good enough. Yeah, this this mini beauty blender thing is a wave for sure. Get on it. So yeah, I, I feel like that's like really the tea and the truth is that I wanted my body to be the star of the show. Obviously I've been doing YouTube for a while and I've been doing it for almost two years and I feel like you guys constantly ask me to do makeup videos and I'm definitely at a point now, I'm in such a different point in my confidence journey and where I stand with everything. So I definitely wanna give you guys videos that you wanna see. Like that's definitely a huge priority of mine. And I love makeup. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you see I do lives all the time of me getting ready. I just don't do them on YouTube because this has been my place for my body, for other women's bodies, you know, for us to have a community where we can come and you can see someone that looks like you or doesn't look like you, but speaks life into you and shows representation for someone that has differences, you know, and is different than society's standards. I'm bronzing my face up a bit now. So I usually do wet conceal and then um, I like to powder over it and then I'm gonna touch up my under eyes again and powder under those as well. For bronzer, I usually grab just kind of like what's closest to me, um, but I've been loving this Ace Beauty. I got this, um, BoxyCharm sends me their boxes every month and this was in one of them. This is the Bronzed in Paradise and I mix these three. Like I always just like swipe across these three. So that's what I'm using now. Okay, now I'm setting my under eyes and whole face with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade Fair. This is their powder. I really like this powder a lot. And I have a lot of friends that like swear by it. I already did my under eyes. So now I'm doing my nose and forehead and cheeks. Okay, now I'm going in with blush and I just wanna tell you that all the brushes I've been using pretty much are from the Nazanin Kavari BH Cosmetics collab. Now you guys know Nas is a really good friend of mine, but I don't shout out anything unless I love it. And these brushes have changed my life. I don't like brushes on my face. I'm a beauty blender girl. I'm a finger girl. That sounded weird, but you know what I mean. I like to use my hands. I like to use beauty blenders, but I have literally had a brush in my hand nonstop ever since I got my hands on these and the It Cosmetics brush. Like this whole set, every brush I use in my makeup routine. Before when I was doing the powder, I was just using the number four. Um, and now I'm using the number three for my blush. This is my favorite blush brush. I'm going in with the Patrick Ta She's Passionate Monochrome Moment um, blush, and I love this blush so much. And I like to start here and kind of work up my cheek to give it a blending moment. And I always put some on my nose for a, a youthful, summery look. Even though it's winter, I still want that, that youthful moment. And this brush is so good because it doesn't like put too much on where it's overwhelming. Like it's like just the right amount. Okay, we're almost done. It's that simple. All I have to do is put a lip and mascara on. I was gonna do lashes, but I just wanted to keep it simple today, you know, and show you something that is more of a natural everyday look. But I did wanna give you guys a good recommendation if you're looking for lashes, which I wear lashes all the time. I just love the extra pop. I wanted to show you Glamnetic. Now this is not sponsored, I promise you. Even though I receive these for free, this is not a sponsored video or mention at all. But I, that's how much I really love Glamnetic. So I like to use the um, felt tip eyeliner pen in the shade black. They also have a brown color that I have as well. And I love their lashes. You literally just put this eyeliner on, it's like any other eyeliner. And then they recommend you wait till it's like 80% dry and then stick these on. I have a bunch of different kinds, but my absolute favorite is the Style Love. It's like super natural and light, but wispy as well. These are my go-to. I have two of these and I wear them all the time. But let's get into our mascara. So I like to curl each lash at a, or each eye at a time because that's how you like really form it with the mascara. You don't wait at all. So I'm going in with the Milani Prep Step, which is um, the Violet One Lash Primer. I really like this lash primer. I feel like it makes it so my mascara doesn't run and it just adds a bit of volume. I really like this. So normally I put that on, let it dry, and then do the other eye, prep that eye, and then put the mascara on. I will say it is really nice to be able to do a makeup video for you guys. I have wanted to for a long time, but I feel like I always hesitate because I don't want it to take away from the confidence work I do. But I think it's important to do it because this is also a part of self-love. And I think 
that's what I missed out on when I was younger is that, like I said earlier, when I was alone, makeup was self-care for me. It was a hobby. So I was always good at anything that had to do with cosmetology. So hair, makeup, nails. And then I feel like as I got older, I was like, I am not doing this because I love it anymore. I'm doing it because I feel like it makes me more lovable. It makes me more worthy, more valuable. And I didn't like that. I wanted to be showing more love to my body, not my face, which may sound weird, but I needed that in those moments because I had showed so much love to my face. I had received so much love for my face my whole life. And now I'm in such a healthy place with my body. Like I love my body. I take care of her. I worship her. And now I'm in a place where I want to give you makeup tutorials because I am very talented at it. I know a lot. I've been doing it for so long. And I feel like I want to contribute to your self-love routine, your self-care routine, and doing something that makes you feel good and changing the stigma of makeup not being for other people, but doing it for you, getting dressed and getting ready and doing the full routine, the full glam routine, pick out a fire fit, do your self-care in the shower, in your face routine or your um, skincare routine, and then do your makeup and make yourself feel good for you, not for anyone else, not to please the outside world, not to fit in with society standards, but for you. Okay, side note, can we talk about these lashes and this mascara? Note, I always get mascara above here because my lashes are so long, not complaining, but I like to let it dry. So sometimes you'll like see it on my eyes, even on like my Instagram stories, I'll catch it sometimes because I like to let it dry because once it's dry, it literally just comes right off. But this mascara is everything. Okay, let's do a lip. I have been absolutely loving KKW's lip stuff. I was on set in New York and this makeup artist used her products, the KKW products on my lips. And I literally, I wasn't paying attention. I looked up, I'm like, what is on my lips? I need to know right now. And she gave me the combo and I've been obsessed ever since. So I'm gonna do the exact combo she did. Okay, so first we're doing the KKW Nude One Lip Liner. Okay, and then we are going in with the Nude 2 Lipstick. And with lipstick, I love to blend with my finger, but then also go in again with the lip liner. Okay, and then to finish it off, I use the KKW Lust Lip Gloss. Ooh, love that sound. And last, last, last but not least, we are setting with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Okay, there you have it, you guys. This is my final look, and this is pretty much an everyday glam look for me. I love this look so much. It makes me feel confident and comfortable and bold, but also natural, which I love because I love the skin that I'm in, and I really hope this video shed some light on why when I get thousands of DMs and messages and comments to do makeup tutorials, why I've always kind of hesitated to do them, but I'm so glad that I was finally able to bring you this one. And hopefully like I'm totally open to doing more and maybe more specific ones like teaching you how I do my eyebrows or things like that. But definitely keeping it fashion and confidence is what's most natural and most important to me. I love to focus on the body. That's definitely what I think we all struggle with the most because of what, how society has set it for us. So I will, you know, leave the makeup tutorials to the makeup gurus cause they got it on lock. But I may pop in the game from time to time now that I'm here, now that I've arrived. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will do my best to link all the products I use below so that you guys can get them. I love everything I use and there's nothing new I used in this makeup tutorial besides the mini beauty blender. Um, everything else is staples for me, like things that I'm obsessed with that I have used tried and true for a while now. So you can definitely trust that they are my favorites and they're something that I really, really love or I would not have showed them today. I hope you like this look and I hope you like this switch up of the video and me being a bit more intimate with you guys. Sometimes I, you know, can be, I've, I've learned in life to be a bit more tougher, so I don't always let people into like the emotional vulnerable side. But in this community we built, I think that it's a safe place for me to let you in more and to show you why I do certain things and why I don't do certain things. And I think that it was really nice for me to make this video and just get candid and real with you and let you know some of the things I faced growing up, especially with you know, hearing compliments that I felt like were backhanded compliments and how I dealt with that and then things I did because of that or things I didn't do because of that. And I feel like Makeup Tutorials was one of those things. So I'm so glad that and so grateful to be now 27 years old, so confident, so sure of who I am and so self-aware that I'm able to bring you a video that brings me so much joy and can be informative for you and hopefully inspirational to, you know, be honest and be vulnerable and get real with yourself 
and challenge yourself. That's always my goal here with you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful to have been going through this journey with all of you for so long. And if you're new, that's okay. You're a part of the family and the journey now. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button to solidify it. <laughs> you know I had to throw in a quick plug. But seriously, I'm so grateful for all the support, all the love, and the community that we've built. And you know, I'm just getting started, okay? We got some real good stuff coming. So like I said, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you follow me. Also join the Confidence Movement Facebook group. That's really where you're gonna get updates on all the stuff that I'm working on and all the good things to come in 2021 because 2020, we are leaving you in the past. We're moving forward, okay? We are moving forward on our journey. So let's do it together. I love you guys so much and I'll see you sooner than you think. Bye.